be very happy. Please give me a Pikachu. Mm. I'll take a puff. We, <laughs> we got HBox earlier today, which was entertaining, which was really good. Uh, this is a, is a fun matchup to watch in general. Um, now, now, is this the same odds from Canada, or is this a different odds? I'm not sure. Um, I, I haven't met him personally yet. I guess we'll see the flag in a second, and if we see the Canadian flag, we'll know. That's how we'll know. Yeah. That's how we'll know. Look for the maple leaf. Let's do this. Taylor Ace J, uh, one of Louisiana's top players. Mm. Just, fun, just a very fundamentally solid fox overall. This is a lot. So a lot of what Puff is going to do is using threat zones, right? Because Puff doesn't have a ground game. Puff has an aerial dash dance, if you want to think of it that way, right? And with these long, jutting out hitboxes like back air, uh, you really can control the space uh, of what Fox gets to do. Um, but when you're on a big stage like Dreamland, he gets a little bit more room to move, uh, of course. But if you box him out and wall him out accordingly, you can make it very difficult for a fox. Your goal ultimately is to get him off the stage and have him do those fire foxes, and then you stuff him out as Puff. Yeah, it, it's definitely a matchup that is in Fox's favor, but Puff has really great tools whenever she does get one of those wins. Coping mechanisms, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, can we take a minute to talk about how godlike odds uh, tag is? 2n1? 2n minus 1. It's always an odd number. <laughs> Math jokes, man. That's uh, amazing. That's great. Mm, he didn't take. He didn't want to pull the trigger and go out deeper. And both of these times, he's been a bit too high for him to stop it. So this time, you saw him try to adjust. He's having difficulty figuring out the, the exact height and the timing that he wants to put out those fares to stuff the side piece. Um, but once he gets those, Taylor is going to start having problems. Now back here from odds and Taylor. Taylor able to actually get back onto the ledge itself. He's actually still surviving at 151%. I'm not used to seeing foxes live this long in this matchup. <laughs> it's it's pretty crazy, right? Uh, but he's just been doing a great job of holding it together. And finally, we're seeing the counter hit from odds, and that's going to end him. You know, it was it was partially Taylor holding it together, but also uh, and some errors on odds and for actually edge guarding. I really want to see him clean things up going into this next time. Absolutely. Whoop, there's the back throw. This is exactly what Puffs want. No, he doesn't get out far enough. If he had moved a little bit quickly, uh, quicker, he would have caught him with that fair, pushed him out to a distance where there really wouldn't have been any hope for Fox to come back. It's just extremely difficult to do it. Back throw this time. Oh, and instead of trying to challenge with the edge guard like we've seen him do previously, he just stays on stage, waits for the getup, and then gets a punish. Right. He, he did a great job of just seeing, seeing the hops coming or guessing that there was going to be some sort of an area option as he's rising, uh, and then just stuffed him out with the back air. Just put it in the right spot. Both these guys fishing for those grabs. Odds does have center, but only temporarily. That shine's so disruptive, just stealing all the ground from beneath Odds' feet. Excellent job on the SDI, avoiding a uh, potential follow-up for uh, some additional damage. That full hop back air on top of him. The getup attack was very interesting as well. The edge play here is pretty scary between both of them. He's going to be able to make it here, but how is Odds going to try to force him offstage? I mean, offstage is just half the battle. Even when he is offstage, because Taylor is varying his heights uh, as well as the distances where he starts his illusion, he, Odds has not been able to actually find the right timing or the right placement of his edge guards. No, you could have held it. Actually, the hitboxes show up from behind Fox. Hmm. Maybe there's a chance that he could have gotten hit. Just oh. Very crucial mistakes that Odds is making. So Baby has to make it back. Taylor is still continuing the pressure. For f some folks who don't know, there's actually a, a bit of execution that comes with the side Bs that come with Puff. You have to be able to angle them slightly upwards uh, in order for you to get a, a, the same height or around the same height uh, incrementally. So you can survive as long as you have really good execution with Puff from those, uh, tough, ang from those tough low angles or from a lack of hops. That time, Odds uh, calling up the angle correctly. And putting this within one, this is a situation that's looking very grim for Puff as she is at a percentage where an up smash will more than likely KO. Ooh, he did rising back air. I think he was guessing for full hop uh, out of shield. Mm, that's going to be it. The tech chase into the up smash to take him out. I, it was 
pretty fun. It was a pretty commanding one uh, for Taylor, uh, especially because the edge guarding was kind of problematic for odds. He didn't end up finishing him off as uh, consistently in, in terms of the offstage edge guard game, right? We're used to seeing guys like do wall of pains. We're used to seeing guys uh, intercepting those side Bs and doing fares uh, and creating problems, right? Uh, but we didn't see a ton of that. We had moments, we didn't see a ton of it. So the, while the opportunities existed, not all of them were capitalized on. And that's what we're all about, right? Mm. All caps. From this spot, Taylor's been doing a great job of using those rising nares and those back airs to push odds to a tough position. But he's also playing that mid-range game, right? Where it's like, couple of lasers. Yeah, that's excellent. I, I'm going to take this free percentage. Uh, odds even there. He got the up throw the, up to the next platform, but didn't do the rising up air uh, to try to see if he could force a, a failed tech window. I think he was a bit too far, though. Quite possibly. Taylor landing now with the back air. And again, he, he's just, it just feels like he's winning more of the exchanges. And the areas where Puff does have the chance to turn things around, we're not seeing odds capitalize hard enough. Sure. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, it, that's the way that you see a big difference between players, right? Is the, the difference in conversions. And higher level players convert extremely uh, well and frequently. But lower levels, um, they, they'll, they'll find scraps, right? They'll find some wreckage, but ultimately, it no. What? You could. Uh, okay, missing the slight dash that he needed forward to ensure you could get the up smash. What you? Okay, so the way you fix that in the future is just be point blank, position yourself first, and then start pulling out the gun. Uh, so that once you start seeing her open her eyes, then you get making sure you're ready with that up smash. Well, it doesn't really cost Taylor all that much from a percentage standpoint. Maybe Odds can flip the script now. He does have stage control. Mm. Oh, big greedy with the grab. Yeah, that's the first time he, he's gone for that. Uh, so I, I don't under, I understand the mentality where I haven't done this before, uh, but it didn't work ultimately. Even with ledge dash onto, if he ledge dash onto, onto the stage and gone for shine, that would have beat it out, but he hasn't done that a ton. Instead, he's been doing a lot of rising aerials. Mm. Side B's low. Ow. Ow. Uh, Taylor's just honestly just fishing for back airs. At this percentage, he just wants a spare hit. Both of these guys are, are honestly. So Taylor that time tried to go straight ahead because if you look at the last stock that Odds took, it was whenever Taylor did a slight recovery upwards. Oh, That's speaking of stocks. Ooh, and that high percentage. It's really being a factor. He would have probably had enough time to be back in position if he was just at a lower spot. Rising up here? No. Taylor looking for a finish here. Yeah, he's, he's got the whole, basically the whole palette to paint from. Absolutely. I mean, he can just drop down full hop Nair on top of him. Uh, why? That was execution error. He's using backer specifically because he wants to catch it, catch it in the auto cancel window so that he doesn't get caught by any funny business. If he whiffs it, he'd be able to pull up shield angle it backwards quickly. But we're going to be able to finish off that stock. Such an interesting decision as well with the up tilt. Probably understanding how Odds has been more than likely trying to approach with aerials as most Jigglypuffs do. Sure. Throws out the quick anti-air option. Just sets the wall. Here, this time he doesn't have the percentage problem and still isn't able to finish off that stock. Odds I, I, is trying to see if he can clean up this mess. Yeah. Uh, and he's close. He's got him at 78%. If he can take him off stage, if he can get that back throw in alpha position, even the dash attack here, rising back here. And honestly, even when you look at the player cam, it, it seems like he feels flustered every single time he's missing one of those edge guards. Sure. Taylor's been doing a great job of choosing his angles on his upbeat, by the way. Just really want to want to highlight that. Mm. Forwarder. I was trying to keep it safe. Beautiful spacing on that back air. 66% on the board. Uh, there's the back air from Taylor. Simply trying to react. He just kept hopping. It's like, it's low commitment. So he was looking to see if he can react to the options. Puff isn't someone with particular bursty movement, so it was a question of are when are you going to come back onto the stage and when can I back here? Ooh, trying to set up for a tech trap. With yes. Up here. Won't be able to find it. Odds down to his last stock, and he doesn't have any games to give on top of that. That was a great back throw, and just like that, Odds is back in it. Taylor making a crucial error, and Puff, she does have those burst KO options 
to make this game and this set potentially turn around. Absolutely. Uh, as the percentage goes up, those uh, the amount of DI becomes much more apparent on those up throws. It makes it difficult to follow up with the uh, rests. But even here, these guys are just doing small little interactions that are the battle for center stage, the battle for control. And this is the setup that Odds has been looking out for. He had so much going for him, and even then, underneath the stage, and that's going to do it! What a stage spike from Odds to clutch that game out. I was so worried upon the first couple of whiffs that it may have broken him mentally, but he's still able to reach through his pockets and find the single silver dollar he needed to cash that out. Wow, man, Odds was... After seeing Odds game one, I was genuinely concerned. I thought that game two was gonna go for towards Taylor, and while it would be commanding, I imagined two stock, right? But that right there is what you want to see from Odds. Yo, he hit him with the solid fundamentals. Nice. I appreciate you, dude. The quick ones. The quick ones. Of course, this stage selection, certainly more in Taylor's favor with Puff being so light and floaty. Uh, she's going to definitely fall victim to an up smash here at a much earlier percent. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I, with being a Puff main, you really know that. And you're going to do everything you can. Like, sure, I'll surrender to the stage a little bit. But ultimately, I'm baiting you out. I want to see if I can get some extra credit with these back airs that you find as a Fox player pretty annoying. Hey, speaking of back airs, this time coming out from Taylor. Ooh, what a brutal shine to open up odds. Ooh, back throw. Oh, that's tough. Yes, 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 yes. That's oh, exactly that's what tough. he needed. Odds. He's fine. He's still oh. living. Two stocks down. That's what I want to see. What a surprise from odds. All of a sudden, he's making the edge guards that he should have been making two games yes, ago. Yes, exactly. That, that you're getting what I was getting at for the first time. Because it, there were so many times that he had these situations, but maybe it was jitters, like you were mentioning earlier, that he just simply needed to be at the right spacing. Uh, but he was just slightly off. Oh, wow. With that exchange, I thought there was a second there that he was going to go for the rest, considering that he was at a percentage where it would have created a, a bit of a problem. But... He didn't go for the greed, and that's commendable. Knowing when to be greedy and when to just uh, lay back, it's a skill in itself. Back here again from odds. Taylor may be starting to feel some of this pressure. He, again, he had such a clean and, and really concise neutral previously. Uh, it just feels like odds is starting to make the adaptations and actually start to, to get us control over some of his nerves. Well, from here, odds, what? spacing it out. Okay, there it is. The overextension and the punishment. Odds now look primed, ready to go. And there's another one. The fairs, the floaty feet, the kickers. This is Taylor's turn to clutch things out. He's the one that's now playing from behind and forced to make the stock come back. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, and it's scary for him because if he gets grabbed, even that is a big threat right now. I mean, from this position, Odds still has the ability to go for the rest. Because he has the stock advantage, he can take one mulligan. He can take one gamble, right? Mm. Will he even need to go for it? Taylor in the corner and just trying to figure out his area of approach. Full hop nairs have been his go-to. Uh, Odds hasn't been doing a great job of just anti-airing. So he dropped down, he's dropped down on top of him multiple times with those full hop airs. That's going to be it. But now he's coming back onto the stage. Dead even game. The patience from Taylor in that last stock was so critical to him making this comeback. Up the oh, gets mess. the rest. What Whoa! a tech! Makes it back onto the stage and he's going to get a massive punish for this. Goes for the grab instead, trying to tack on that extra he's percentage. For the drill shines. That's what works. That works so well against those walls. If he has the execution, he'd constantly be setting that up. But from here, odds just trying to play the defensive game, not trying to overcommend. He's got to work on the angling of the shield just in case he's going to be going for those full hop nairs again. The pressure that both players are feeling. Odds gets the That's square, it. but Taylor! What a comeback! Man! And let's look at this one more time. God, That dude. was absolutely insane. And that really was the moment where this entire game shifted in his favor. There was there were so many key moments that, that really shined in that particular set because it was the game, it was game two where you really start to see He's starting to pick up fire. 